right, so here he is, DC, the one, the only, Tony Ferguson, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, and the man who was the first to accrue a double-digit winning streak in the division, 155 pounds, that most people believe is the best and deepest in the UFC. It has long been the deepest division in the UFC, and Tony Ferguson has maneuvered his way through that and had eventually captured the interim lightweight championship. One of the most diverse strikers that you've ever seen. I mean, the elbow he hit against Josh Thompson to split him open oh. was unbelievable. And couple that with the college wrestling background, right. and every time you step into the octagon with Ferguson, you know you're going to have your hands full. From him walking to the octagon dancing, to getting in there and being so free-flowing, Tony Ferguson is one of the best fighters in the UFC roster. He really thrives under the bright lights. He is a finisher of the highest order. His training habits are truly the stuff of legend. Eddie Bravo talks about this guy training for six hours straight. Oh. Probably ill-advised for most fighters, <laughs> but El Kukui can do it. He can do it. It's exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee set to fight Tony El Kukui first. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> This one. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. So Ferguson going with the lead elbow there and landing it. Yeah, he's so diverse in his attack. Tony Ferguson can do just about anything. And a lot of times, Tony Ferguson will batter his opponents with elbows. He's so creative that he uses those as punches and is showing tonight. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Ferguson's back in half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Ferguson's able to transition back to side control now. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Beautiful transition. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Watching this guy move on the ground, another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, 
Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. That Dorse is tight. Good job by the chance there. Slide back up. Great reversal to top position by Ferguson. Back mount now. Ferguson's really pressing now. He's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Ferguson. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Lee. I need you to get up now. And there you go, again, half guard. El Cuckoo, he's going for a choke here. Oh, yeah, he's got him to sit tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long too long for himself to get subbed. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, if you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to do. One, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. That's the Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch there by Ferguson. Oh, that's a strong slip there, and then the rip. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Real quick leg kick. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. <laughs> Big left hand there inside. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's fight hard. Starting to do some really significant damage. To the body here, another strike lands there. Looked like that body kick got home. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Spinning back fist. Huh. Round two is next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round. I thought he showed some great ground defense. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, hammer fist here by Lee. Big ground and pound. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tony Ferguson. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. That Darce is tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice front kick. When both are prepared. Oh! He's hurt. Oh, 
Paul really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen in the time, and he is showing in this performance. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat mouse. You got to play cat mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Heel hook looks tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Two minutes now to go round two. He's got a bruise starting to appear. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice job by him defensively there. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh! Big right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back and forth we go. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that. And I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea. Oh, back. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Unable to connect with the right hand there. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Oh! Ooh, going for a leg lock. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, great submission defense. Final seconds here of round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. 
Oh, that'll yeah. snap your head back. Beautiful combination. Way to hide that leg kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. What is it? How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurting bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this he, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. He's setting up a sub attempt. Oh, I don't know. That hook looks tight. Wow, how about that? Avoids the submission and pops right back up. Fighters back to their feet here. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. He does everything. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Heel hook looks tight. No, he's not going to tap. It's tight, but not tight enough to finish him. Yep, yep. To grapple now going for a leg. Oh, it looked like he might succumb to the submission there, but he escapes and gets back to his feet. Very nice. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's... Ooh, heel hook attempt now and it looks locked in. Oh, beautiful job to escape. Great job clearing the knee, getting this blade all the way across and defending that heel hook. That was fun to watch. Let's go, push, 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 hit three. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Now he's going full mount. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. Another strike gets through from the top position. Lee's has got full mount now. Nice transition. All right, feet on the hips here. Now he's attacking the triangle. The triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Ten seconds. Final seconds of round three. Oh, he postures up and a big head strike by Ferguson. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, sit down. Slow your breath. Let's get that heart rate back down. Awesome defense. Your counter fighting is looking sharp. Exactly like we worked in the gym is working perfect. All 
All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was Ready in fight. deep, but wow, Ready. what a great Ready. job of escaping and living to fight another day. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Lee. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. Big head kick. And landing some nasty strikes. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Great submission defense. Lands the ground and pound strike. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful combination at top. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Beautiful diving strike lands. Back to the feet now. Back kick there. We march on three minutes to go. Nice body shot. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy to him. He's doing a great job being accurate. Oh, staying active in pursuit of the submission, now going for a leg. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Going very hard to try to finish this fight by heel hook. He has got to secure the leg and keep the hips past the knee. Oh, the leg might get a stoppage there, but instead he is out and right back to his feet. Nice punch to the head. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Another huge kick is true. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, look at that. Oh! Oh, DC, would you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Oh, nice. Ferguson's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Series of strikes, they all land. Oh, would you look at this, an Imanari roll right into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Break that full guard open, stay busy, get the half. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh, he got to his spot. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Going for a submission now or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. 
Oh, I'm no expert, but that damn food choke looks locked in. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Uh, Horn sounds for the end of round four. Stop, stop, stop. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Don't worry about the cut. We got it under control. Just do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Just protect it. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Really putting his kicks together now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that's big. Pretty good jab there by Lee. El Cucu is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Oh, huge left. Oh, and even Ari will right into a heel hook attempt or so it looks. Man, oh, his opponent's got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, he's going all in on the heel hook now. Oh, look at the fight. He's not going to quit on this. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Lee gets back up. Oh, nice kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, with authority, the body. Back to the feet. Going hard to try to get the heel hook. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Going for a leg lock. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Lee gets back up. Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent. He keeps going to that spot. Gotta watch his neck. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, slick reversal right there. I need you to scramble, scramble. He's getting the out here. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, 
are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Oh, now look at the posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Tony Ferguson. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Nice positional control here. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. In the half guard. Ferguson's back in format. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. This fight has been everything it was promised to be. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Ferguson. Judge two scores it, 49-46, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the fastest.